Hello, my name is Mordred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to this stream of European Versailles 4, where we are playing the Golden Century. And we are indeed making it golden and rich and wealthy for the Pirates of the Caribbean, which is who we are playing as. We are, of course, Port Royal. And that Venice. Yeah, Venice has had a good game, but not as good as this. <laughs> I'm still amazed by this. Entirely done by the AI. I mean, I weakened the Ottomans, but that was all the knights. Right, so what is going on here? We are currently at war with Castile because we wanted the Aztec territories. And it's not just the Aztec territories we wanted, it was actually a couple of other provinces as well. So we want to get these... no. Why is that not showing me... Oh, let's reset the peace deal. Disaster. So we wanted to have those four provinces. We also wanted to have these two, so that we could start actually privateering in Seville. Yeah, I think that's what we want. I mean, we could theoretically say, hey, we want the whole lot. Ah, this will do. Uh, we are also going to need to do some invasions, I think. So we have successfully taken the Aztec territories. There are still a number of Castellan colonies which will need to be taken out and then also the Castellan homelands. So I think what we are going to have to do is land over there. They do still have quite substantially more troops than us. I think we need to go and take those two provinces at the very least seeing as that is what we actually want to take from them. So let's see where my transports are. Let's send you back down there, and then also the warships. So this I'm going to rename to Battle Fleet, so I know who you are. And let's rename you to Transports. Although I, I recognize there's been a fair amount of merging ships in this series, so but that's fine. And then Michel de Gramont, you are a really good ruler, so I don't particularly want to use you as an admiral, so I think we're just going to have to go ahead and roll some. They are really cheap. Wow. They're only 36. Why is that? Do we have an ability that makes leaders cheaper? Didn't think we did. Admiral costs. Minus 25%. We do. Interesting. Right, well, I think that we're going to do what we were doing before and basically just go through, name them as we're going, and then only tick off the ones that we actually keep. So, what quality can we look for? Between 6 and 14 pips. Alright, so we probably want to have between 10 and 12 minimum. So this can be Requin. That's 8, 9, 10, 11. Eh. This can be Oracle. That's more like it. 10, 11, 12. But with a 6 maneuver. That's a lot of maneuver. Um, but we do still have points. So let's continue going. So this can be Samuel. Ooh. Not as much maneuver, but a better uh, fighting admiral. So, Requin, I'm afraid I'm going to have to get rid of you. And we're going to stay on our 404. So, Rockle and Samuel have been named. Uh... And then I named the wrong thing. Alright, done. So the war fleets are going to be commanded by Samuel. And I think the trade fleet, I'm going to have Ruckle doing it. A level 6 maneuver is going to be a huge boost to that. Also, we completed a mission. We have a renowned buccaneer. Have an admiral with at least 12 pips. We have several of them. 
A mighty pirate, TM. So, national tax modifier and morale of armies goes up for 20 years. I'll take it. I will definitely take it. Three star. Is he a blockader? He is a blockader. Nice. Alright, so we're going to send you off on your own over to Castile. Let's sort this by navy so I can just double check what I can <laughs> expect to be up against. Okay, that is quite pathetic. So you should be able to go and grab that territory with zero problems. The only thing is going to be there's nowhere really to get supply ships. So who hates Castile? Brittany, Scotland, and the Papal States. Well, Brittany, hello there. I would like to have fleet basing rights, please. So I think I'm going to start improving relations with you so I can actually do some landings. Meanwhile, 14,000. Is that size of my military at the moment? Yes, it is. And the Portuguese want to have military access. Who is Portugal fighting? They are fighting Quiche. No way. I want Quiche to survive and smash you. And giving you access would make that less likely. Especially because I completely block you off from the top. Alright, jump on the ships. It looks like we can make our way over here, so let's go ahead and do that. What is Castile's army like? Castile has 18,000, so we do need to be a little bit careful about that. These are European quality armies, these are not native. And I'm still not amazing on land. Castile looking more like Alicia. I mean, yeah, you're not wrong. Okay, so we're off the coast. We are not as yet taking attrition. Oh, of course, the leader maneuver reduces that. I mean, we are going to have a time at sea modifier. I wonder if any of these guys would... Actually, Brittany wants to give me access, don't they? It's just the fleet basing. Um, let's just cancel that. I'm going to get military access from Brittany, and then I'll start improving relations. That will, I think, let me into their ports. Uh, Michael de Gramont is a famous pirate, so it doesn't cost me any Republican tradition to re-elect him. So we shall re-elect him. And that gives us a 556, and it also means that we could get an idea. How far away from technology are we? Ten years. So yes, we should get this idea. Recruitment time, eh, it's not the best, but hey. Tech, uh, ideas are ideas. The next one, however, starts giving us the land force, uh, land fire ability. Tortuga fighting down here. They ran away. Oh, we could be raiding. 1% effectiveness. Yeah, let's not do that. Uh, protect trade. Caribbean. Where are my transports? They're over there. Okay. I do need to keep an eye on that. Especially while they sail over the, uh, the Atlantic. Alright, so the Aztec armies have actually returned, but I think I want to go and take out Castile's homelands, and then we can go and deal with them. Still not actually taking attrition here. Do we have the... reduced attrition ability from diplomatic... I don't remember how you see that. Huzzah! Oak Tree, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub. I appreciate that, thank you. Does the pirate run end with an earthquake dumping Port Royal into the sea? I don't know. We shall have to see what this ends with. Is that how it historically fell? I actually know very little about actual pirate history. Reduce naval attrition level 22. That's why we're not taking attrition by blockading this. So, so long as we're off the coast, we're good. And because we're maritime, we'll repair when we're on the coast. Okay, then. Yeah, they're starting to really mass up some troops over there. 
There's a thousand Castellans. Let's sail around a little bit. Just see if we can spot their army. It's not there. 5,000 there. And you guys are about to arrive. Well, as per usual, I want to capture a province first. So we're going to move into here. And see if we can hold this. And then we're going to find out if they have actually got their army hiding away in Orenze. Uh, let's move you here. In fact, once the army has landed, we'll need to move the transports over there too. Um, let's move you. Something like that. So I have eyes on the entire coastline. So that's their little garrison dead. Nobody coming to attack us just yet. Let's move you here so we've actually got the full blockade. And that's important because it will increase the siege speed and also allow me to pick them up if I need to. We've actually got an almost complete blockade going on already. Um, what's going on here, Castile? This is not good for you. Twenty-one percent already. Crikey. That's a big difference in naval quality. Six to three point one. They must not have their uh, morale up. And we just captured four light ships. Hell yeah. Thank you. Much obliged. And this is going to be the Castellan capital. Oh, you've just not built a fort here. That's the problem. Yeah, it's still just a level one. Hey, Dana. Poor Royal in Jamaica was destroyed by a quake in 1692. Well, we're still 15 years away from there. Meanwhile, Carabas are taking my stuff over here, which is really not very nice of them. I think we're going to have to jump on the ships and head back home to go and deal with that siege. Um... Do you have the defensiveness edict on? You do. Marvellous. We'll have fun with that. Camera froze again? This is the second time. Well, the first time was before I'd actually checked it. <sighs> For Pete's sake. All right. Uh, give me a second. I'll need to restart the stream. Don't go anywhere. I will be right back. Right, so, we're back again, just pressing the record button there after everything died, once the face cam died. And we're just going to continue sieging this, please, come on, just just make my day, thank you. Okay, so we've taken their capital, which immediately drops them to low war enthusiasm. And I have to redo the peace deal, because we restarted the game. So I wanted that, 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 and that. This feels more expensive. Oh, probably because I'm not currently occupying those. Because I wanted this and this. That's 96. Yeah, so we need to get... Actually, not a huge amount more. Okay. Uh, there is going to be a battle here. I'd rather you didn't fight against my transports, though, if possible. So the transports should be able to beat you, yeah. Ooh, you actually stole a heavy. Hello. I am quite okay with this. And a light for that matter. Let's go and send you to protect trade in the Caribbean. Uh, let's split you in half and we're just going to go and take over those two provinces. I would need to get military access through Aragon to get these two. Now, does Aragon hate Castile? My assumption would be yes. Yeah, they do. So it's unlikely that Aragon's given Castile access, which is why there's rebels here. So I think I'm just going to... Uh, no, I think I'm going to have to get access and deal with those. So let's have a word with you. Get military access. And ships. Are you guys taking attrition? No, still not. Magnificent. 
Hey Thomas, yes, there is going to be Warhammer this evening, 10 p.m. And a lot of Warhammer coming in the future too. <laughs> an awful lot. Stay tuned for a, an announcement about that. Um, Aztecs are down to medium. They're on low. We're getting there. We're getting there. Hey Val, how are you doing? Let's load you into the sh no. Let's not load you into the ships because I actually want you to go and kill those two. In fact, I wonder if their army is stuck in Jean or something. Well, in the meantime, let's go and sail down to uh, Canaries and take a look around. That's a Fulo army. Um, what Miltec is Fulo? Eighteen. So we are ahead of them. Any ideas which I need to be aware of? Defensives. They're going to have a lot of morale. Well, I'm going to wait for you to go to Lugo. And I will fight you there. And then we'll go and siege down Aragon. But it looks like these guys got access through Aragon anyway, because they got here much sooner. Okay, 5.1 morale versus my 6. They do have cavalry. I do not. Uh, we have much better tactics, though. 1-3, two, 2 My general's also better. So we should win this one without too many issues. Especially in the fire phases. And Helson is... a glory seeker. Well, alright then. And in fact, you're meant to sail down here too. No army is in Madeira either. That's interesting. I think that is the entire... Ca no, that's the Aztec army. Where is Castile's army? And they are going to be reconquering my Aztec territories, but that's frankly fine. Okay, that's not worth taking out. Let's go and take this then. Although if I could piece Fulo out, that would be nice. Just so I don't need to deal with their armies continually coming up here in the north and causing issues. And we could be converting. Yes, go ahead and do so. We've still got like 50 months worth of fervor, so we're good there. Will it be the dwarves again? No, this evening or will be something else. But don't worry, the dwarves aren't going away. Um, I'm definitely continuing with the dwarves. I just want to try something else. Our admirals are expressing concern that our forces on land are coming at too much of the expense of the fleet. So I can increase my naval, which will mean that the construction cost of all my ships is reduced, or we can get military tech cost reduction for the next 10 years. Considering how we are nine years away from the next military technology, I'm going to say, what do they know? Cheaper tech is always good. And I think I'm going to bring the transports down here. And we'll just load up from there, and then go to the Canaries, and then we'll go and deal with all of this. Unfortunately, it looks like my fort here will fall, but it should be okay to retake. Although it is a coastal fort, which will make it a bit of a problem. Yeah, I probably should have gone and routed them before doing all of this. Never mind. Is that them taking this? No, but I think they're about to. Smugglers have taken over. No, they haven't. Back to the Buccaneers. I think I am going to need to do some damage to their colonial powers, unfortunately. Oh, they've landed up here. Well, that's interesting. Because as soon as these guys are back on the ships, I'll just sail around here and kill them. And we're on the ships thanks to my fast loading speed. And this is now a defensive fort, so... The grasslands are going to be in my favour. Okay, it doesn't matter so much. I was wondering if I wanted to drop you here, kill that, and then drop here. But if I drop here, then they'll probably run away. I can't actually take that siege, so yeah, let's drop here. Are we going to be there on time? 
No, not a chance. So we'll still drop up here. Yes, merge together, merge together. That's glorious. Ha <laughs> ha! Denied! Stack wipe, I reckon. No leader. Boom. And Castile's back onto medium, but they won't be, not for long. Okay, let's pick up the army, head over to the Canaries, take all of that, and then we'll take our Mexican holdings back again. Let me just double check that they're not trying to land anywhere over here. No, my trade fleet seems to be doing a pretty good job of dissuading anyone from actually doing any naval stuff over there, which is excellent. A bountiful harvest. This year's harvests have been exceptional, really, in our his nation's history, as the Earth brought forth so much of its bounty. That is good. Ah, oh, Fulo's back again. I see. Uh, Portugal's gone to war. That is kind of irritating. Because now Portugal definitely has more fleets in this region than I do. Well, I think it's time to go a little bit gung-ho here. So the only thing that they're really going to be able to take is Havana. So I need to stop them getting troops in Cuba. I also need to stop them from sinking my transport fleet. Chance to capture ships. Prize hunter. Fantastic. Ooh, that's going to make this interesting. Castile is still on level 5, so they probably will peace out sooner rather than later. Although, Portugal's armies are going to be retaking the uh, Castellan territories. So I probably should try and peace Castile out as soon as possible. Where are you sailing to, Lestonian Sea? I'll meet you over there. Ten of my best heavies versus none of yours. Nope, thirteen of yours. Well, this is going to be a test of naval power, isn't it? Oh, you got away. That's disappointing. Oh dear. Well, we're going to ruin their naval strength, but they could do some damage here. So I need to watch the health of my transports pretty carefully. But those are only uh, light ships. Plus one galley. <laughs> they are sending in more ships. But I'm hoping that sheer weight of numbers is not going to be enough to save them. No, this is silly. I need to get you out of here. Uh, let's send you back to Jamaica. No ships were lost. Excellent. That means no armies were lost. And over here. My heavies are dominating. We captured another seven light ships, so this fleet just continues to grow. Let's send off the uh, damaged ships for repairs, and we will just continue just swatting these smaller fleets as and when we can. See you, Oak Tree. The Portuguese flagship has been captured. During a battle with the Portuguese fleet, we managed to capture the Santo Antonio de Flores, the flagship they have prided themselves on so much in the past. While it is certainly an impressive ship, we did not only defeat it, but managed to bring it back in more or less one piece. Excellent. And we captured another heavy. 
Uh, let's send the damaged ships off for repairs, and we're just going to continue just sailing around swatting enemy ships with the 23 ships that we still have active over there. Meanwhile, my heavy fleet dominates theirs! Wow! Okay, so of the 13 heavy ships that they brought into this fight, 12 of them sank. Well, 12 of them were lost, of which I stole 10. One of which being their flagship. <laughs> Excellent. Well, suddenly my heavy fleet has become rather more impressive. Let's just go and park up here, get some repairs done. Unfortunately, Castile is still not willing to peace out. How's the garrison looking on this? It's almost full, but it is only a level 1 fort. Uh, we do need to try and get some repairs done. Please tell me you have a shipyard in one of these. You don't. Uh, okay, so my battle fleet would comprise of just one ship if I didn't wait for repairs. Oops. Well, in that case, I'm going to say all of these 30 percenters stay here and repair. While the remnant of my battle fleet is going to go and try and intercept Portuguese fleets as they sail over here. Another naval engagement, another four ships stolen. How does the naval maintenance look? Kind of bad. Because we're over the force limit. Right, yeah. By double. Um. I might need to get rid of some of those heavies. What? Oh, they're all war galleons. Okay, that one costs the same. That's actually a galleon, so I'm going to get rid of you right now. Uh, that should help matters a little bit. And I think we're going to have to get rid of some of the light ships, so... Some of these ships that we just have scattered around, these can all be destroyed, that's for sure. Don't need those. We have a bunch of early frigates. In fact, there are some older ships here. Oops, no, keep the frigates. I'm going to get rid of the early frigates. And the caravels. So as nice as it is stealing all of these ships, I can't actually afford to maintain that larger fleet. Um, my trade income's gone down because I'm not protecting trade. That's actually why I'm struggling for cash. It's not because my fleet's so big. So that should do. The other thing, of course, are sailors. Although actually... That's not looking too shabby. Yes, it's going to take a lot of sailors to repair my heavies, but quite frankly, I want to keep a large fleet of heavies. And this fleet will also need to get rid of the old ones. Because we have a lot of frigates. Oh, that's 16 ships. Whoops. <laughs> that increased in numbers a little. However, my fleet is still mostly intact, with the exception of that one. And they do have heavies and stuff there. I had another fleet somewhere being repaired. Apparently not. Well, our navies are absolutely kicking the living daylights out of them, so this is good. That's another nine ship, ten ships captured. So again, let's get rid of any older ones. And then I think at this point, I'm going to say to you, protect trade in the Caribbean. Because we need to retake control of the uh, trade here. Because actually, the less trade that we capture in the Caribbean, the more of it's being sent to the Seville, which is helping them. Next question, where's the army? Here. 